My name is uh, Jay Prassel. I'm the VP of Marketing at SolidFire. And it is uh, absolutely my true pleasure to invite all of you uh, this afternoon uh, to the very first OpenStack Forum on breaking into the enterprise. So many, many thanks for all of you for taking the time out of your afternoon to come and join us uh, today. You know, at SolidFire, we are very big believers in OpenStack. Uh, we have developers that are dedicated to this project. We contribute a significant amount of code on a regular basis as well. Uh, and OpenStack actually has become, for SolidFire, a very key element in a lot of the customer conversations that we have uh, on a daily basis. And it is this customer conversation around OpenStack that actually has been the root for this event that you're all attending today. So again, many thanks for all of you uh, who have attended and those of you who are online who are watching the live stream as we go uh, today. I think the thing to keep in mind about uh, how we're going to spend the day today is that the root of what we're doing here today is conversation. You're not going to find long PowerPoint presentations uh, or diatribes really from any of our uh, presenters today. At least uh, that's what we're hoping for. Um, but what you should expect uh, as you participate today is very vigorous debate and vigorous dialogue on not only the challenges, but also the opportunity that is presented by OpenStack moving from early adopters uh, into the enterprise. So I want to take just a quick moment and do a poll. Show of hands in the audience, who has OpenStack on your radar for either implementation or taking a good hard look for 2014? Show of hands. OK, great. Thank you. Uh, another quick poll. Anyone in the audience who actually has deployed OpenStack today or is in process, if you would, please stand up. Yes, this is an active participating event. OK, stay standing, please. Stay standing. For all of those of you who are sitting down, take a look around. These are folks that you are going to want to connect with, in addition to the number of panelists that we have today, because these folks have taken the step, and in many cases taken the leap, of putting OpenStack into use. We're going to be having a cocktail hour on the uh, second half of the event today. But keep an eye around here to these folks. Take a picture. Do what you have to do. But make <laughs> sure you spend some time uh, with the folks that you see here. Before we get started, I want to just do a quick acknowledgment. And thank you for all of you uh, participating. Uh, I want to make just a quick acknowledgment of all of our sponsors today. Uh, the OpenStack Foundation, Nebula, Gartner, eBay and PayPal, and Selenier. Internap, SolidFire, uh, HP, Xerox Park is here as well, as well as to our media sponsor, uh, Silicon Angle in the Cube, who is live streaming for us uh, today. You also find the sponsors uh, around the perimeter as well. I'd urge you to kind of spend some time with them. You'll be hearing from them a little later uh, as we go. Uh, we will be following a talk show format today. As I mentioned, we're not going to have a lot of PowerPoint presentations and a lot of kind of lengthy conversation. You're going to see very rapid format. Uh, and we're going to move very quickly uh, through the conversation today. If you are on Twitter and uh, that's your vice, uh, make sure that you're using uh, OE Forum uh, as your hashtag uh, and you're talking about it today. So let's get started. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce you to our moderator uh, of our panel today, uh, Senior Gardner Analyst uh, and Research VP, Lydia Leong. And she's here in the audience today. Oh, there she is. Um, Absolutely. Thank you, Lydia. Um, you know, Lydia is best known, I think, for her work in the cloud service provider space. Um, she spends a lot of time there. Uh, she understands, I think, OpenStack very deeply as well. Uh, but she also spends a good part of her time within enterprise conversations as well. And that's really why we invited Lydia to come and join us today, is because she understands both parties. So she's going to be our panel moderator. She's going to really help us drive some of the conversation that you see today. And I will keep all of you in mind that Lydia is not going to be the only one talking. Right? She's going to help us open up. Uh, she's going to also have some panelists up here as well. But we also want your participation as well, those of you in the audience. So you're going to see folks uh, around with microphones. Uh, you'll see uh, McLean in the back. And Kelsey will be moving around as well. Make sure if you have a question, you ask it. If you keep it to yourself, uh, we haven't done this forum much good. 
We're here to share and have a great conversation today. We'll have cocktails and uh, a bite to eat afterwards. So without further ado, Lydia Leon, many thanks. Thank you, Lydia. Thanks. So one of the interesting things about doing a day like today is as part of the conditions of Gartner doing an event like this, um, we don't, we're not officially you know, in favor or in disfavor of any particular vendors, which means that none of the folks that uh, are here know what questions I'm going to be asking them. So you cut them a little bit of slack, and I'll try to be difficult. <laughs> so to start with, uh, a number of people who have come up and, and sort of spoken to me have asked, who is in the audience? Um, right, who, we've, got a, we've got a big group of people here. Um, and so, how many people here work for OpenStack sponsors? You work for companies that, that are part of the foundation, you do hardware, software, services, good number of you, right? Stand up if you do not work for a technology company and you're not an investor. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting that most of the people in this room are actually, if you're not in fact early adopters, you're on sort of the, the edge trail of more mainstream. You are not a classic enterprise in the way that, you know, classically the enterprise has been considered, right? The Fortune 500, the Fortune 1000, non-technology organizations, somewhat slower moving, right? Roadkill. <laughs> so, but you're an important audience for the next stage of evolution of OpenStack, right? Before OpenStack can reach the Fortune 500 pharma company or the federal government or anyone who's a slower moving entity, they need to reach the technology companies here in Silicon Valley who haven't, who haven't adopted and really sort of that next broad range of early adopter customers. Right. So in a lot of ways, here we're talking about a transition. What's necessary to get from the very early adopters to the next sort of broader mainstream early adopters, and then finally into the mainstream. So as we look at this, the questions become, right, if I'm going to adopt OpenStack, right, first I gotta decide what are what am I really looking for? What are my requirements? What are my use cases? Who is the range of solutions I can look at in order to do that? Is OpenStack the right solution? Is OpenStack the best solution for that? If I decide to use OpenStack, how do I deploy it? Do I do it myself? Do I work with a service provider? Do I do managed services? Do I do professional services? What's the level of effort to install this thing, operate, upgrade, update, right? Keep this thing alive in my data center. How much can I trust that it's gonna work the way I'm going to? And once I adopt OpenStack, what else am I sort of de facto adopting in that ecosystem? Right? How much choice do I have between the vendors? What's my look at op interoperability? What's my future for hybrid cloud? What's the right way to do this? Right? What's gonna be difficult? What's gonna be easy? What can I expect? So that's what I'm gonna be trying to elicit out of the, uh, the folks on the panel today is what has your experience been? What's your advice to the audience? What did you find difficult? What's been to your advantage? As you look at what is OpenStack, right? A lot of people can say, well, is OpenStack a product? Is it just a framework? Is it a general constellation of basically an umbrella foundation for which there are many potentially disconnected projects? Today, as, as most people look at, at OpenStack, they look at it as a framework for components that are normally adopted together, although in any given form, those components can be adopted separately to some degree, right? Open source software, backed by, in many cases, commercial entities. Right? So today you can go and download OpenStack and try to deploy it yourself out of the, the code repository on GitHub, or you can work with a vendor. Right? Most people are gonna end up working with vendors, um, which is of course why we have many fine sponsors of the OpenStack Foundation here. In that context, right, as you're looking at what is at this point relatively early stage, but not incredibly early stage software, right? We're now eight releases into OpenStack, right? Number nine is coming up soon. We're more than four years into the project. Um, and we can expect, in theory, to be able to see some maturity. Um, but because the project is still evolving, because there's a lot of new componentry, you're still looking at, of course, relatively early stage software, which is delayed adoption for everyone. But 
as a whole, the adoption of private clouds is also relatively early, right? And we're seeing two big streams of what people are thinking about for private cloud adoption. The first is, I'm going to extend my existing enterprise virtualization environment, right? I've deployed VMware, I've deployed Microsoft, I've done something along those lines, and today I have, you know, IT operations doing things on top of virtual machines, great. Now, maybe I want to extend a little bit of self-service to my developers. Maybe I want to become a little more automated, right? And I begin to stack tools on top of my enterprise virtualization. That's one way to go in private cloud. Um, and because a lot of people have already bought into those tools, right? If you've bought VMware recently on an enterprise contract, you probably bought vCloud Suite. You've gotten a cloud management platform. And therefore, if you have that particular use case of extend my enterprise virtualization, you're probably going to go with the tools you already bought. But a lot of organizations also have a, a second and different use case, or even in here in Silicon Valley, often net native companies have only this use case, which is essentially the new applications. Things that developers want to take um, advantage of essentially infrastructure as code. Right? The ability to programmatically address infrastructure in agile and flexible ways in order to build other things that are looking more net native, more cloud native. Right? And OpenStack competes with uh, vendors like, you know, Apache Cloud Stack and Citrix Cloud Platform in, in that sort of bucket, folks like Eucalyptus, um, as well as potentially other cloud management tools that basically purport to take your enterprise virtualization and stack a more cloud native look on top of it. Right? Um, but, those, but the use cases you're going to see for OpenStack are by and large going to fall into more of that cloud native uh, type use, right? Batch computing, application development, building cloud native applications, building, building mobile backends, things that are more suited to this new type of application workload rather than migrating existing legacy workloads. Um, and you have to think, if you're thinking about OpenStack and the enterprise, is it even worthwhile to migrate those existing enterprise workloads um, from the environments in which they sit relatively happily, or do you want to simply go after new workloads? Right. I think of that you're here and you're thinking, boy, I have an existing virtualization environment, it's expensive and I want to replace it. You're probably not going to find that OpenStack meets your needs for those things. If you're thinking, I'm building cloud native applications, I have big analytics use cases, I have big data use cases, OpenStack may be the right thing for you. I think as you look at you know, what people are doing here today, you're going to find a lot of that pattern. So given all of that, right, what are we trying to get out of today? Um, I hope that as you leave today, um, you're looking at a situation where you can think, yes, this is the right path for me to follow. I think OpenStack is going the right direction. Or you might say, no, the direction that OpenStack is going is probably not the right solution for me. I'm looking at other things. But hopefully that level of clarity uh, will start to come to mind. All right, Jonathan, you want to come up? <laughs> <laughs>